Hi, so welcome to this video today. So another video on transition metals. So the question we're going to try and answer today is how many unpaired electrons? So the situation we have is we have a six coordinate high spin and low spin complex of Fe3+. So remember high spin is when we have the maximum amount of unpaired electrons. So that's when we have a very small energy gap. And the low spin is when we have the lowest number of unpaired electrons. So we have a high energy gap between them when we're drawing out our um, energy diagrams. So first of all, let's work out how many electrons we've got in Fe3+. So if we look up iron, so just neutral Fe on the periodic table, you will get 4s2, 3d6. So this is just the abbreviated um, one for that particular uh, period. Okay, so the last ones will be 4s2 and 3d6. So now if we want to have a 3 plus, how would that change? So remember with the transition metals, we take from the S block first and then we take them from the D. So it would be 4s2 will disappear. So we'll take those two. So I can write 4s0 in there to indicate that. And then I'm going to take one from that 3D, so I'll come down to 3D5. So I've given up three electrons now. So I'm now looking at 5D electrons. So writing out my six coordinate high spin and low spin with five electrons. So the bottom one is my T2 set and my E is at the top. So this is when we have a very uh, small energy gap. So I'll draw a larger gap between the blocks for the next one. So this is our larger energy gap. So following our rules, so we're putting in five electrons. So it'd be one, two, three. It's got a small energy gap, so it can start filling up the top ones as well. And now we've got that larger energy gap. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So this would be my high spin. And this would be my low spin. So then to go back and answer how many unpaired electrons. So in my high spin, I have one, two, three, four, five unpaired electrons and in my low spin I've got one unpaired electron. Okay so that's how many unpaired electrons in high spin and low spin octahedral complexes.